a profit of 5 acres in 1 acre of farm. This is the benefit of multi-layer farming. Trishi Institute of Agriculture Science and Technology has developed a multi-layer model farm at the Art of Living International Center Bangalore. It gives the benefit of growing multiple crops within a single farm in a unique way. We do farming in the ashram by implementing natural farming techniques. We have developed a concept of multi-layer farming to help farmers make maximum profit via maximum yield. To achieve this objective, we have created a multi-layer model farm in the ashram. It achieves the agenda of earning the yield of 5 acres within 1 acre of the farm. In mixed cropping, the land gets divided. For example, if we sow 4 crops together in 1 acre, then it's equal to growing 1 crop in a quarter acre. But in the multi-layer cropping concept, within 1 acre, 5 crops are grown in 5 layers simultaneously. Turmeric is grown at the underground level. Then some surface space is visible which farmers usually leave for grass growth. That space we have used to grow methi or fenugreek. So first underground was turmeric. Above the ground, second layer is methi or any leafy vegetable like spinach or coriander. After that we have planted a third crop of karela at stem to stem distance and at a height level of 5 feet. The fourth stem to stem planted crop is tindli, which will grow as a creeper across the shade. The first three crops are at a different heights below this creeper crop. Neither of them will be disturbed by the other. So each crop has its own space to bloom and at the topmost height will be fruits like papaya at 15 feet. So this is a beautiful concept that will deliver the yield of 5 acres in 1 acre of farm. The shade created is very crucial because many times the sun is too harsh or too much and it hampers the growth of leafy vegetables. And during those seasons, the rate of leafy vegetables is higher. This concept will enable farmers to grow leafy crops more easily and get higher rates. It is like having AC for the plants as 50% less sun and heat will reach the leafy vegetables. So good green leaves can grow in a comfort zone even in harsh sunny climates. There are two benefits of growing methi. Firstly, the profits. Secondly, cost cutting. Example, usually farmers sow turmeric and leave the ground surface space open, allowing grass and weeds to grow. Then they have to hire many labourers to remove weeds. This cost of hiring labourers becomes zero plus profits are earned as we are growing leafy vegetables at the surface level. The leafy vegetables will be harvested within 25 to 30 days. This harvesting will provide the aeration that turmeric needs at the growth stage. So what is the profit? One is the harvest profit we get and what is the profit to the turmeric plant? It will get the aeration that turmeric needs at the growth stage. We have installed a green net at a height of 6.5 feet. The reason being, there are some insects that can't fly beyond that height. So this net installation reduces 80% pesticide cost and helps to control and nullify insect attack. The investment incurred in this model farm isn't just for one year. This setup will last up to five years. If we observe this setup from a per year perspective, we have turmeric plants that are six feet tall. Rarely any other farmer may have such tall plants. Another beautiful point is we will get oil from these leaves. Usually such a high level of oil content isn't available. Because we created a shade for turmeric, we will get 60 to 70 percent oil and the papaya plantation will give a yield of about 1000 kg in one acre of farmland. Methi is the costliest during summer. It is mostly harvested in April and May and because of the harsh sun, it isn't available in the market. And from this one acre model farm, we can harvest about 1000 to 1200 kg of methi. Similarly, we can harvest about 1000 to 1200 kg of karela. Main harvest would be turmeric. Usually in an open field, farmers harvest 4 to 5 tons. But in this shaded field, we can harvest about 8 to 9 tons of turmeric. A crucial point is how many workers were required to make this model. Five workers have come at scheduled times and completed this setup. Once the field is laid out and all the crops are sown, then only one worker is required for irrigation and maintenance. 
Multi-layer farming is not limited to 4 or 5 crops. This is just a base model that we created and we began with 5 crops. We are creating more such models with 6 or 7 crops. Along with it, we are creating a structure to achieve minimal investment and maximum yield to ensure the profit for farmers. The Art of Living and SSIST conducts courses on natural farming. The course teaches the preparation and usage methods of natural insecticides. This is an additional help in getting higher yields with minimal investment as per our objective. Natural farming involves making and using Jivamrit as a fertilizer. It rejuvenates and it strengthens the soil. To develop this model farm, we have used Jivamrit, natural fertilizers and vermicompost. We have not used any chemicals here. Also, we said earlier, 80% of the insects and pests that are there in this radius get stopped due to the green net. After that, if insecticides are still needed, then we use Nimastra, Agneastra and Brahmastra. These are made and used in natural farming techniques to protect the crops. These insecticides not only protect the crops but also ensure a healthy plant life. So we have designed a multi-layer model also with seven crops. In this model, instead of using the green net, we are using these natural insecticides. They are sprayed at scheduled time intervals, which has improved our plant's health and strength. We welcome you to the Art of Living International Center, Bangalore. Come visit us, meet us, we will give you all the required information. If you would like to learn, do join our natural farming program.